very frequently in your exams you will be shown a ct uh, brain and you will be asked to identify the type of the bleed so there are three images which we are seeing here one is having a biconvex bleed one is having a concavo convex bleed or a crescentric bleed and third is basically having a linear bleed so let's look at each one of them one by one so the easiest one the biconvex bleed is basically of extra dural hemorrhage so what happens we know the bleed is between the skull and the dura mater which is tightly adhered so the blood cannot go everywhere and it, it is tightly you know limited by the adhesions of the dura mater with the skull so that is what we have a biconvex bleed in terms of extra dural hemorrhage let's look at another case here we can see it's a crescentric bleed so this bleed happens between the dura as and the arachnoid and it is called as the subdural hemorrhage because it is loosely adhered the blood can spread a little more so that's why you have a crescentric or a concavo convex bleed the last one is linear okay and this bleed is seen in subarachnoid hemorrhage and what happens here is basically the bleed happens around the vessels so that's why as the blood vessels are there that's where you will have the bleed and that is why it is linear so these three are important let's look at some other images here you can see a intra parenchymal bleed very very easy to identify another very easy case is intra ventricular bleed so these are five six images which you should know for the examination let's revise one by one so biconvex extra dural crescentric or concavo convex subdural when you have linear bleeds it's primarily subarachnoid hemorrhage if you have intra parenchymal bleed or you can have an intra ventricular bleed